Hey, today we're talking about this guy over here, the Insta360 Go-To. So I got this camera about a week ago and I wanted to share with you some of the positives, some of the negatives, and some of the reasons why I decided to make this purchase and what I use this camera for. It's definitely not for everybody. So I wanted to start by sharing the positives of this camera. It's definitely one of my favorite cameras considering the variety that this camera can do. Starting off, this thing is very small and very convenient. Uh, even with the case, this thing still fits on your pocket. You can throw this in a bag, this can go anywhere, and it's super easy to just have this with you. So it's never really a thing of, should I bring a camera or shouldn't? This can be part of your daily carriage with you. This is so small that it really doesn't take much space, it doesn't take uh, much thought to just have this camera with you. For me, the biggest selling point on this camera is the image quality. It's incredible image quality. I've owned different GoPros, I've owned different cameras, point and shoot, but the image that you can get out of this camera considering how small it is, especially when you consider the dynamic range, meaning that the shadows are never dark and now the, the brightest part of the image is never blown away. It finds a great mid balance between the bright and the dark and it does a great job in containing the information that you want. I think many GoPros or these sport cams, they tend to destroy either the highlights or the shadows. The pro video setting is usually what my camera is at 99% of the time. It's where you're gonna get the best image quality, is where you're gonna get the most versatility, is where you're gonna get all those features that this camera can offer you. If you use the video format or some of the other formats, you might be limited to what that format does, but a positive thing is that you're gonna use less memory, which is a big thing, but we'll get to that later. And the last positive thing that I want to talk about is the aspect ratio, especially shooting on the pro mode. You get to change your aspect ratio after you shoot. So basically what the camera does that I found a really incredible is that it uses the full sensor. Once you export this directly to your computer, you can see what it looks like, which is this rounded image one by one. Once you download the app, either on your phone or on the computer, it allows you to quickly change between nine by 16 or 16 by nine. As with everything, this has a couple of negative points that I wanted to share with you for full transparency. And the first one is memory. Considering how small macro CD cards are today, it's very strange how little memory this camera has. You have to have the app on your phone or a computer so you can offload that if you're going through the day. Uh, alongside the memory is the battery, which is very conflicting because the battery with the case is really good. This thing lasts for a very long time considering how small it is. But if you take the camera out of the case, suddenly the camera lasts about 30 minutes or so. Especially if you have the app open or if you're connected to this, it's very little battery life. For me, the, my favorite thing about the camera is how small it is and how versatile it is. This thing can go underwater, this thing can go uh, on dirt, this thing can go anywhere and you can always carry this with you. These two are the biggest negative aspect points of the camera. Um, there is a couple of weird gibberish things that happen to the image sometimes that I notice. Not always a big deal, but you can, depending if you're trying to do something a little more professional, that might be a problem, so it's good to be aware of. I use this for two main things, which are behind the scenes and documenting my day-to-day -day life. So this thing is replacing a point-and-shoot camera and a GoPro. I wanted a camera that I could just hit record and not think about it. I wanted something that wouldn't require my attention. Because see, when I'm using this camera or I'm doing these videos, whenever I'm filming with this, the mere idea of focusing on a behind the scenes shot feels out of this world. And this camera has something incredible. So this camera has a lot of automatic features. It has a lot of presetting. So before I even get into the shoot, I know that the camera works a certain way. And one of my favorite things was the fact that I can set how long I want the camera to film for. Because I usually hit record and I go do what I have to do, I don't want to forget about the camera, come back and have a 20 minute, 30 minute file that I'm probably only going to use about two, three minutes of it. So I can set this camera to record between a minute to five minutes, depending on what it is that I'm doing. 
and only have enough to kind of show that behind the scenes, to show the setup, to show what I was doing. And I can move the camera around and that'll help me save battery because once the clip is done, the camera shuts off and you'll save a memory because I'm only getting a minute at a time. So I'm not getting ridiculous size files, which will limit how many I can use this camera. But that's it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button and I'll see you next week. Bye.